It's hard to have a conversation about sandbox-style MMOs without topics like player housing, open worlds, and of course, eventually, games like the long-dead Star Wars Galaxies coming up. But how dead is it really? Official servers closed back in 2011. Player-made emulator servers are running strong. This classic MMO isn't nearly as dead as you think. Passionate fans have resurrected it, and even more than that are making new content across a variety of servers. I was invited to come take a look at one such server, Star Wars Galaxies Legends, and the new content these passionate fans are developing. I've played on Legends before and was impressed. Legends is an NGE server running for over three years now, meaning its gameplay is focused on the game as it was after the major combat overhaul back in 2005, and after the massively divisive overhaul of the entire game, the new game enhancement. Gone is the massive list of potential classes that could be mixed and matched and replaced with a now more familiar nine-class system with Jedi being a starting class. The debate over which is better will forever be argued, with NGE servers boasting more content in the way of quests, stories, and items against their pre-NGE cousin servers that feel like a little bit more of the original sandbox that was originally released and advertised. As a fan of SWG, I'm overjoyed that the game is still alive and even happier that both eras are still available for players to enjoy and experience. I just want to say a quick thank you to the Legends team for allowing me to have a first ever look at this player city they built from the ground up, Bespin. So, Let's get into this first look at the city. We're gonna chat with the devs, Gray, the intern who's writing the story for Bespin, Rain, the developer, Nubius, the Senate liaison, Kiko, the architect who's working with a family member to build the city from the ground up, and the lead admin, Rorash. What we can expect to see and how they see the future of SWG Legends developing. Um, for, for real quick, was the Senate vehicle, I have to ask, cause this is actually really cool, I never unlocked one of these, was this already in the game? Yes. The, yes. the Senate pod? Did it Wasn't come out? It, was it like a pack or something? Because I never had TCG. one of these. TCG. Yeah, TCG. Oh, it was the yeah. card game. Oh, okay, because this thing is freaking cool, and I never had one of these. I feel like a visiting dignitary. That's why I put on like my dress clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to switch clothes up because I'm, I'm obviously not matching up, but uh, yeah. like the Bespin architect now? Uh, yes, I'm doing it together with my cousin, and we have, well, yeah, we are both re responsible for modeling, and I'm mainly also, uh, yeah, doing the implementation work and doing effects and so on. This place looks huge. Well, let's roll around. I'd love to ask you guys some questions. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been on the Legend server. I know my community, for anybody who's never seen any of the videos for Star Wars Galaxies, uh, real quick, it is a classic MMORPG in in the the furthest side of a sandbox game that you could probably get. Uh, feel free to drive around. We're in a player-made uh, city, Bespin, from the movies, and it's amazing so far. You're gonna see ships landing, like while we were prepping this video, I watched, uh, I think it, what is it, the Y7 mining ship? It's it's one of the, it's the really long mining ship. I actually watched that land earlier, with, and a couple of other ships like landed and docked and loaded up with Tabana, I assume, and then flew off. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, but, yeah, let's cruise around, and hang on a second, I gotta, before we go, let me switch my clothes because I'm obviously not matching everyone else. There it is. So, new clothing coming with the city, or will this be coming out before? Because this is the the what the the winged guard. Yeah, this is the winged guard. Uh, yes, um, we are planning to do several sets of clothes for our new wearables and. Uh, together for this uh, new expansion, but also for other content, and yeah, that's the first set of clothing we have done now for the city, because they are very iconic. Um, yeah. Oh, the cloud car is up there, landing up on the uh, the pads at the top. <laughs> ah, can you go up there? Uh, on our right-hand side, actually. Yes, we can go up there. We have just left the starport area where players will land in the beginning and now approaching the bank and uh, bazaar terminal areas with those um, landing pads for the cloud cars. Okay, this is really cool. So I have to ask, what, um, this is the first, If and correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first major uh, area, like city, that, uh, that the Legends team has put together, correct? Um, yes, that's correct. We are um, working on this planet since about uh, six months now, and this is going to be one of the first um, really big expansions to the game, 
while we are also working on other content, maybe Ash wants to say some words to it. Um, yeah, so with Bespin, obviously this was something we wanted to do for a really, really long time. And the project is now three years old. And I mean, anybody that plays Star Wars Galaxies knows its, it's iconicness with Star Wars fans. And we kind of wanted to take it to the next level. And Bespin was a great opportunity for us to tell new stories, to perhaps introduce new characters and new quest lines. Um, with a game like Star Wars Galaxies, there's always so much more you can add and bring to the table. And I think Bespin is going to blow people away. And as you can see, just by looking around, the new textures, the new the new graphics um, that the development team have achieved with this, it's just incredible. It really is. And I've seen, I won't talk too much about other servers, but I've seen other servers say they've had like, oh, we've made a new planet. And most, 99% of the time, it seems to be an asset flip. It's like, oh, here's 20 buildings that you have seen in the game in the past that we have grabbed out of some other location and plopped down somewhere and now have yeah. called it this place. And this is totally like, I'm looking around, like all of these buildings that we're seeing in the distance way up there, that's all custom made. No. Yes, um, one of our main, main goals was just to create a real environment. We just didn't want it to have um, assets that have been used before and just um, well, flip them around, change some textures or so on. But we wanted to create a really new experience for the players and for the game, because I think if you make a new planet and if you make a new environment, you need new assets to make it well live really. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I've just opened the map here so we can get an idea of how big it is. So we were somewhere around here when we started and we drove over to this section. But uh, so what what would you like to show show uh, you know show the community? Because this is the first look, I think, other than the, a couple yeah. of screenshots you guys have released so far. And I'm su thank you so much for letting me come on here and, you know, take a poke around your guys hard work. It's amazing. Yeah, no problem. We are just currently at the police station. It's one well, NPC building for, you can have a look, um, for um, the storyline maybe later on, and it will be the place for the wing guards. Um, yeah, and it, this building is actually uh, implemented uh, with a working interior already, so we can have a look if you want. Absolutely. And one, thing, one thing as well that we really want to achieve with this shack, each building and each location you're going to visit on Bespin is going to pay, play, play a part in the story. So everything that you see, everywhere you visit is going to have a purpose. Now, you said play a part in the story, as mm -hmm. in like a quest line, or what are you, what are you planning? Uh, Gray, why don't you touch a little bit about the story? Yes, hello. Um, so Bespin will feature two uh, completely different storylines, one for each faction. Uh, players will be taken along quite a long journey, visiting all the major and minor locations throughout the city. Um, iconic locations like the Carbon Freezing Chamber um, and the Dining Hall where Darth Vader springs his infamous trap. Um, and it will feature minor and major characters um, from people like Lobot and Lando Calrissian himself to minor fan favorites uh, like Will Rohood, who's become sort of a meme in the Star Wars community. Um, as well as the two main quests, there will be a heroic instance for both sides and a series of side quests that all players will be able to access. Quite exactly similar in length to the legacy quest, but quite, quite substantial of length. Probably, I'd estimate, four or so hours plus um, of questing for either storyline. So a sizable chunk of content. Now, what kind of, what's the time period for the for the quest line? Um, the time period is just after the Battle of Hoth. Um, I can't really say more other than uh, it's in the immediate aftermath of the battle itself, and both the Imperials and the Rebels have their various different reasons for coming to the city. But you'll have to wait until um, development's finished and jump in yourself to find out the exact um, storylines themselves. <laughs> Fair enough. That's All right. Key. All right. I won't. I won't pry too much. It will we? Okay. Like maybe I can ask this. If, if you can't answer it, fair enough. But um, uh, new rewards for players, new items in the game. I mean, I know I'm wearing some fancy new. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, can we expect uh, new items, rewards, weapons, things like that? Potential. Kiko. 
Kiko, you talk about that. You know, you know everything about what's coming. Yes, we, as I said before, we will have new wearables, obviously. Um, we have the swing guard um, clause already, um, but we are planning also to make maybe new weapons. We can talk about um, well, new furniture. We are going to make a set of um, exclusive furnitures for Bespin and possibly other rewards, obviously. But we will not well give you every detail right now. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Well, you said you said furniture, right? Potentially, potentially furniture. Yes, um, I guess we will have. If if that's the case, will we have a place on Bespin to put it? Are we talking flare housing here? Can we live on here and mine Tabana gas? What do you guys uh, think? Do you think we should tell him? Yeah, I, I, I think, think it's a good him. place for a reveal. I think a reveal. <laughs> So we are, we are going to say that we are, we are preparing to allow players to live on Vespin. Oh, nice. So how is that? If because normally in Star Wars Galaxies, for anybody who's watching this and has never played uh, the MMO before, um, it, you have to put a building down basically somewhere in an open field or in a city that's made by players to have housing. Um, can you talk about how that would work on a on an already like on a on a literal space station? Or I guess a um, gas giant floating station? Like how would that, how does that work? Or can, is that not something you can talk about? Nico can probably touch on that one. Um, yes, so player housings you see, if you look around, you see a lot of skyscrapers around here. And I will see so, I will say so much that some of them may contain apartments in the future. Oh, nice! Very cool. So you might so potentially you could rent some of these. Nice. Uh, wait, we're working windows, or is that not something that's working? Obviously, out? yes. We want to make everything exciting for the players, so they will have windows to the outside. Gotta ask the classic uh, galaxies buildings with no windows. <laughs> so I, was, I was wondering how that was gonna work, but oh man, if you did like look yes. out at that city yes. itself and the rest of the station with a with the, with the ships coming and going, that's very cool. We have learned a lot from Sony. I mean, um, everything that players wanted to have, we will try to give to them if it's possible and if it's good for the server as a whole. Let me get back in here. I'm gonna get left behind. There we go. I'm Jump back ahead. on. Yep, I'm in. Um, the building where we are just um, looking at is a very, well, I will say important one because it will be a key feature in our city. It is a so-called community hub and it will uh, contain a lot of social areas and also the cantina and we hope that there will be a lot of life in this building later on. I could definitely see this becoming uh, one of the main hubs for the uh, for the server because it's going to be unique to just this server, just to Legends. Um, yeah, you guys want to talk a little bit about, because I know there's going to be people who are watching this and not know anything about Galaxies. Maybe they played it back when it was live before um, your old servers got shut down. Um, or maybe they never played at all. Like, what what is Legends, and what's your guys' goals with uh, this server? Wow, that's a very big question. Um, so, with anybody that played Star Wars Galaxies, especially the NGE, um, the purpose of this project we want to bring that back the way you remem remembered it, and also create new experiences and memories for you. Um, you know, obviously SWG Legends is now three years old and we want to continue to push it forwards. Um, so with the project, we want to continue to be able to provide that home from home, which players can log into and feel that they're reliving the adventure that they were once in. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job so far. I know there's a lot of other SWG projects out there, but I feel like we deliver pretty good on recapturing the essence of Star Wars Galaxies, you know, throughout everything that we do with live events, through development. Um, yeah, we're, we're pretty good, I'd say, without being biased. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Oh, for uh, for those who have played Galaxies, um, this is uh, in GE, right? Um, yes. So that's going to be a big question if you've never seen the server before, uh, and they play it sometime in its in the the story development of Star Wars Galaxies. There is a range of different versions of uh, of this particular MMO and different combat styles, um, with its uh, if, 
you know, so that's what you're getting into for NGE. And um, Jump to Light Speed is a functioning aspect of this server, which is pretty freaking fun. I know we've done a number of videos on my channel just tooling around in space. My multi crew vehicles and ships and stuff is probably uh, one of the biggest highlights for me, anyways. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. Man, we're just cruising around the city streets here. This is amazing. Yeah. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> Yeah, we have just left a building that is uh, the so-called Yaris Hotel. And yeah, it's not fully done yet and we'll get a new interior layout uh, added later, but uh, we are working on it. It will be the exciting place where layers, well, hotel. Now, and you guys mentioned this and I should bring this up real fast. This is Alpha. Uh, this is nowhere near completion. I know you were talking about this before we started recording. Um, so just so everybody knows, if you see some things that might not be completely finished or still needs work, um, I was told, you know, this is still in, in progress. But speaking of that, and I have to ask, um, any ideas on a potential release time frame? I know, like, no pressure here, but uh, people are going to ask. So, it, to be honest, the state it's currently in, I'd say it's not even alpha, it's like pre-alpha. This is essentially just the shell. And as for a release date, we don't typically work to release dates, especially being a volunteer project. Um, but we, you know, it depends on our availability, the developers' real life. But, you know, we're, we're hopeful to get it out as soon as it's ready. And that's always something that should be reiterated. Like a lot of the content that I've done on the channel uh, in the past, uh, um, lots of it is community made. So, you yeah. Know, and I love the idea of it's done when it's done. When you guys are comfortable with releasing, well, that's when it's going to come out. I just, I'm sorry, I, run, I ran off for a second. I saw a YT landing on a platform up there and I got distracted. <laughs> so, where are we now? Um, I believe this is Lando's Tower, I think. <laughs> And again, this this will be quite important within the story. You'll be able to engage with Star Wars characters in here. Oh, um, I, I expect to yeah. see his closet full of capes. <laughs> that should definitely be a thing. <laughs> that should actually be a thing. Because, I mean, how could it be his place without capes everywhere? I uh, should do that. Full of great ideas. I'm here for you guys. So we'll where, am I, where am I going? I'm following you. Uh, this, this, this building has got a slightly different interior to the other ones. As you can see up here, you've got like the bars at the top, um, the storage room. So you can get an idea of the different textures which the developers have done. If, if you come in here, you can see it goes into darkness. So each of these rooms are gonna have a function. With with the quests, can we expect new heroics or anything like that uh, for people who love to do the, um, the uh, more group content? Yeah, sure. So Gray, Gray can probably touch on that one a little bit with the... Uh... Yeah, sure. Um... I, we've already announced uh, two heroics. Uh, uh, the heroics are titled Slice of Time, uh, and they will deal with both Imperial and Rebel players, uh, essentially sort of like Rogue One, where you have minor players who help uh, getting the major players to do what they need to do. So we'll have, for instance, the Rebels will be doing various things across the city that ensures the Millennium Falcon, Leia, and all the other Rebels are able to escape like they do in Episode 5. Uh, and sort of a similar setup for Imperial players, but obviously trying to hinder the Rebels' efforts instead of help them. Oh, I love it. Okay. So it all ties in uh, directly to that, you know, those events. That's going to be, for yes. those heroics, very cool, very cool. What, what do you think of the view from here, by the way? Stunning. Pretty intense. This is amazing. Is this the landing pad? Like the one from the movies? I don't think this one is specifically. I think it's the next one. Might be one over. Oh, there's actually a YT setting over there. So maybe we should go take a take a run over there. But this view is absolutely fantastic. That's something you don't really get in a lot of the other cities. You don't get the verticality. Like I see a GR75 just landed over there. Like that's cool. And the city streets below. Now, it, can you, like, I don't know if we're maybe out of render range. Would you be able to see like players and vehicles down there? Peek home. Yeah, I'm back. I lost connection. Sorry. <laughs> no hey, worries. Um, he, he just asked uh, with with the way Bespin is set up. Would from a, from a vertical platform like this, would you be able to see a player down below? Um, I guess you will see everyone and running around and so on. Ships flying around. So yes. Yes. <laughs> um, Let's go. Cool. That is really cool. Just yeah, walking, running over to where this YT is. It's, uh, one there. thing I ever wanted was like, um, Sony built a lot of large buildings, but you were never 
able to even enter or go to any platform up there and it's so cool and it's so Star Wars to have really uh, landing platforms and bridges over the sky I would say and so that's well something I was really excited for to build oh yeah I, I think you had dropped out um, lost connection but I was just talking about how like you don't really get this kind of verticality in any other city um, from the base game like it's just they don't build the cities that way so this is really freaking cool Okay, I got a bit distracted, but so here's the actual landing platform. Is this taken off? Oh, it's taken off. Yes, mm. it is. It's now a bad time to tell you all that I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the edge. Uh. Uh, so we got no. So we got new clothing. Talking about uh, potentially new items, quests, heroics, a new city, player housing. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I guess I already asked about items. Maybe new armor. Uh, yes. We yes. just announced, uh, last week we announced that we have two new sets of armor coming into the game. We haven't announced how they're coming into the game, but they are coming in very, very soon. One set for Imperials, one set for Rebels. Um, they're both inspired by Star Wars Rogue One movie, and they both look insanely amazing. Uh, lots of hype around those, and we can't wait for players to experience and, and own them, because they're, they're really, really amazing. And I know Kiko, Kiko, your cousin, and you worked on those? Yes, correct. My cousin is working on new um, well, verbals and armors, and yeah, I'm trying to do the implementation of them. But yeah, um, yeah, to well, give you some information, making verbals for this game is quite difficult. It's not as easy as some people would expect. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of time and research has went into it. I think one thing, Kiko, that we should definitely show Shaq on the video is the industrial sector, how we've got different sections of Bespin and how they aesthetically look different. That would be cool. Yes. yes. We yeah. can um, use our shuttle port for this because Landos has its own shuttle port and we can just jump over to the starport of the industrial sector. Lando Sounds has great. his own shuttle port. I'm jealous. Right? <laughs> yeah, we can make a small uh, yeah, tour through Lando's here and go over there to the shuttle port. Sounds great. So private shuttle ports. Not saying that would be amazing for, you know, a high rise, uh, maybe penthouse on top of one of these skyscrapers. Yeah, but that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I did a red. I did put a request in for a balcony and like a three windowed apartment, but I don't think the developers are really going. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to crank that credit, that credit cost up there, like the monthly <laughs> rent or something. It's like, oh, you want a penthouse? All right, well, you're going to yeah, pay for it. Cost a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're going to pay and for one, that. One thing Bespin's going to be really good for as well is for our player events, you know, for the, for the community team. We have so many different ideas for player events that we're going to do on Bespin as well. So even though players will be able to come here and adventure and do quests, we're also going to be using the area to do live events and new stories within uh, live events. So it's going to be really, really super fun and engaging. I think this, I think this is going to overtake more size as being like the, the hub of the galaxy. I can see that firefights in the city streets of Bespin will probably be amazing. Um, now, here's a question, and I don't know, uh, will, because none of the other cities in, in the game, you can really, unless it's a player city, um, you can do the storyteller stuff. And if anybody knows what that is, it's, it's basically you can be a GM as a player in Star Wars Galaxies. We've done a little bit of it on the channel. Uh, I, I had a whole uh, storyline with Tusken Raiders and Jawas, and uh, we had, were working for like a Jawa warlord. And I, I as, the, as the person running all this, was able to spawn these NPCs in. But you can't do that kind of stuff in a city. Now I'm wondering, will there be an area on Bespin where maybe it's opened up to be uh, to be used by storytellers for the storyteller mechanic? Because I'd love to spawn, you know, stormtroopers here and have a whole little plot for my rebel cell in an area of this, you know, this really cool set piece, it's this awesome city. I don't think we've currently discussed that yet with the storyteller system and if we're gonna Im implement that here on Bespin, but it's definitely something that we you know take feedback from if people want that then maybe we can all right so you you heard him chat leave a comment oh. down below that says shack's right and we need an area where we can do this uh. <laughs> but you know i'm, I'm totally not biased 
Let's see if we get a ticket to the industrial sector got it. on this terminal. Yes, we can now take the cloud car down there. The cloud car, is that a vehicle that you could pick up? I don't remember if that was one already in the game or not. I think it's a TCG ITV. Yes, right. Uh, okay, so it's, it, that's what one of the fast travels, right? Right. I Correct. believe it also had the added functionality of saving preset locations that you could choose to walk to from inside your house if you placed it as a decoration. Though I could be wrong. Yeah, some possible reward card call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not saying I want a cloud car that we can fly around in atmosphere out here, but man, that would be that would be pretty cool. So yeah. now we arrived at the second uh, starport we have. It's on the opposite of the city. And yeah, this is called the industrial sector, where a lot of the story will take place. So we have placed the own starport here. Oh wow, I love it. And it's this, this section large. here, this section here as well, this will serve as the the way you access the lower levels of Best Bend, Kiko. Correct. That's correct. Um, on the left side, you see well some grey buildings, and uh, yeah, we are in the industrial sector as it was said and yeah you can look um, over here there are some stages and they will lead to well the lower levels of Bespin later okay I, now is it just me I don't know maybe the time has changed or is it because this is the industrial area has everything gotten just a little like shades darker uh, a little bit grittier on this side yeah, that's true. We well, we have read the um, yeah the story uh, and the lore of Bespin, and we wanted to make it feel well like you are in the films, and so we have tried to make um, yeah it as close as possible to yeah have the feeling of those uh, different zones in the city. It's going to be really, I think as well, Shaq, it's going to be really special because people will be able to visit those iconic locations from the movie. You know, the spire where Darth Vader goes against Luke Skywalker. We're going to have all of that in here. So people will be able to bring friends and visit those iconic locations which have been in the movies, which I think is really special, which we can bring to players. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I can't wait to see the screenshots of people having, you know, duels. Yes. On that platform. <laughs> How great is that going to be? You know, they're going to get the Sith and the Jedi up there dueling it out and stuff. Um, or like you said, events here would be would be amazing. These corridors are kind of yeah. thin and you can have firefights up here and have all kinds of fun events. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, to say about this area, obviously we are in the Alpha and we have already built the lower levels or parts of the lower levels, but they are currently not accessible from here. Um, I can explain you a bit. Um, well, people know from the game that it is difficult to counter the legs sometimes when too many players are around and so on. So, as you see, the city is already very big. Um, so we didn't want it um, to have well too many leg issues if players doing quest and combat and so on, and if they have many people around so our goal is to um, yeah the lower levels should be instanced so players are going into well uh, another instance and um, to access those content um, mostly lag free but the I love looking up and seeing the ISDs and everything that's pretty fantastic it's pretty breathtaking even for me and I've been here like five times <laughs> So there's still some more areas that's going to be in the industrial area they said we don't have access to just yet. Um, Correct. Okay. There will be a lot of content down there and other iconic places. I will say the, well, the chamber where Han Solo was uh, put into um, the... Uh, Carbonite. Yeah. Carbonite. The Carbonite Canal. freezing yeah. area. Oh, that, now, now that's not in yet or we can't go see that yet. It's still in the works. No, we cannot visit it yet, but you will maybe see it in the future. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. It's already built, but not implemented yet. Well, we were talking about this earlier, because I couldn't remember if this was originally in or not. Um, and I guess it was part of the uh, the trading card system that they had implemented a little bit later in the lifespan of the game. Um, it's not obtainable. 
on our live server at the moment. Ah, so taunting. Everyone who wants one of these. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> uh, so where are we heading now? Now we are approaching the next building. I'm currently working on this one ahead. It's, uh, well, a large building for... Well, I'm planning to put in some kind of guild hall for NPCs. I mean, there are a lot of merchant or mining guilds on Bespin because it's a trader city. So that's what I'm going to place into this building and hopefully we can uh, put a cool story around this building too. Okay. Uh, speaking of um, you know the merchants and the mining guilds, since you know Tabana Gas is like the whole point of having this station and the Star Wars Galaxies, is there any plans to connect this to the economy in some way? for resource generation or because uh, galaxies has one of the more complex uh, crafting and economy systems um, and this is you know an economy station any kind of connection there yes that's true um i cannot tell you much about our plans um i guess we will look into resources because the system is just so exciting and complex and we love it but uh, I cannot give you any details on how far we can make a uh, um, resource system available on this planet because obviously, as you can see, we will not allow player-placed houses or player-placed factories or mine, uh, miners. So it will be a different system if we allow it. Okay. And if people have ideas, if people are watching this and you guys have ideas, you know, be sure to to feed them back to us. You know, you can do that through our forum or our social media. Um, that's a really good way to connect with us because as much as this is our project, we want it, it's everybody's project and we want everybody to have input into it. So if people have got burning ideas with story, rewards, uh, wearables, you know, be sure to feed it back because we, we do listen and we read everything. I mean, we probably read too much. <laughs> we read everything. <laughs> So, uh, talking about you know what's coming with uh, with Bespin, what else is coming up for Legends in the future? Uh, I know you're always doing events. It seems like uh, posting them onto the Discord and straight onto the, your website. I'll, and I'll I'll link uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube. I'll link this uh, all of the links for the social media for you guys, and um, of course where the the news is. But what, what do you got coming up in the future? So more more eminently we actually have on we have may the 4th coming up which of course massive day for star wars fans and we're definitely going really um over the top with that we have um we have a live event coming up which is uh, probably probably the hardest one that i've ever done and i've actually had to do lots of rehearsals for it it's going to be a fully voiced event so players will log into discord and it's going to be narrated by c3po and it's called the hyperspace hoopla so people will be able to come to the event at jabba's palace and they'll be able to engage with all star wars characters from all the eras we have finn we have ray um and that's something i felt was important because star wars is so broad now that not everybody not everybody knows all the characters from all of the timelines. So I wanted to bring them into Star Wars Galaxy somehow. Mm -hmm. So we have Ray and Finn, which are going to be at the party. C3PO is going to be the DJ. We have a giveaway in the <laughs> event. We have, oh, literally, there's so much going on for that event. And then at the end of the event, we have a huge firework celebration going on, which, so yeah, it's very, very ambitious with the live events which are coming up. And um, we also, in terms of content, we, we have announced, we have said that we've got the the Jedi theme park coming up, which is um, mainly aimed towards Jedi players, but other players will be able to re engage and do the content. And that's going to involve um, us exploring more of the Jedi profession and where that story will go. And we've had a lot of feedback over the last year or so from players saying that they want to have the Elder Jedi robe, they want to have Sunriders Destiny crystals, they want all of these different rewards. So, um, you know, that will hopefully tie in really well with that. And that also, that's under development. So people might think it's just best pin that we, that's being worked on. It's not. There's a lot of different things going on. Yeah, because you had mentioned this is a fairly long-term project. And we've obviously yeah. seen new content. I mean, you do have the new um, the new armors coming out, which uh, I think, did that, did, did you ever come up with a name for the second set? Or was that still something that was going on, people submitting names? I think we we haven't 
confirmed it, but we're thinking about a uh, Rebel Pathfinder for the Rebel. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. I like it. And that's one thing we do try to do as well each year, you know, when we do the seasonal events, like with Bespin, maybe down the line we'll add Bespin story teleprops which people can use on other planets but you know each year during moon festival love day life day we do tend to add new story teleprops as well for people which are into role play and storytelling so it's that's something that we're definitely aware of nice sounds great well uh is there anything else that you guys want to cover before i i run off and explore more of this before you guys kick me off sir <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to kick you off the server um just that i you know, speaking myself personally, I hope everybody that's watching this really likes what we're showing off. And if you haven't tried SWG Legends, then it's time it's time to do so. You know, we have so much planned. And as you can see, we're really determined to making this the best experience it can possibly be. And yeah, I'm plugging myself a little bit, but you can, you can join us by going to swglegends.com forward slash play and anybody is welcome to join our community it's like a big family and we have great interaction with people, the staff members the community himself and it's, it's like a huge family so anybody's welcome to join us all right well thank you so much for showing me around giving me the tour and the vip treatment here in the uh, the senate car really been enjoying this and the city I, by the way the city looks amazing well done I'm sure this took a, a ton of hard work and time to pull something like this off. The challenges of developing in a game that came out in, I want to say it was like 03, 04, a long time ago. Was it 03? 03, yes. Yeah, 03 yeah. has to be insane. And to bring it back to life and be working on new content for it on your in your free time, you know, just for people to enjoy is, yeah. it's astounding. So thank you for the hard work. Uh, well, I, we all appreciate it. Oh, there's a there's a landed ship over there. Distracted again. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you too for uh, yeah having a visit here. And yeah, it's so exciting to work on all this content. And yeah, I have I loved this game since it came out. And yeah, to be a person who is actively yeah, looking into developing it and so on. It's so amazing. I think that we're really lucky with Legends to have a really good community and we're really lucky to have amazing developers. And, you know, for me, it's, and I'm sure for the rest of you guys in this channel, we're truly blessed to have an amazing team behind Legends and making all of this possible. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, before you guys run off, as I watch this ship take off, I have one last question. Any new uh, multiple-player vehicles for space combat coming out? If you're not allowed to say, just wink twice. I think I, I, I'm not going to name, but the, the answer is yes. Wait, no, seriously? You guys are making yes. more like the large ships? Yes. Oh. Uh, can you give us a hint of what it might be? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry. On. That's it. Confirmed Star Destroyer. Sorry. It's on the way. That's it. <laughs> I wish. It, it's like we said to you, we do read what people say and what people feed back and what they want. Um, and we do want to deliver on that as well. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for having me here. It was good chatting with you.